The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has started announcing this year's Nobel Prizes. The Nobel Prize in Medicine for 2024 has been awarded to Victor Ambrose and Gary Rufkin. The American scientists were honoured for the discovery of microRNA and its role in post-transcriptional gene regulation. But who are these scientists and what have they accomplished? What is microRNA and what is the importance of its discovery? Watch the video to find out. The information stored within our chromosomes can be likened to an instruction manual for all cells in our body. Every cell contains the same chromosome, so every cell contains exactly the same set of genes and exactly the same set of instructions. Yet different cell types such as muscle and nerve cells have distinct characteristics. How do these differences arise? The answer lies in gene regulation which allows each cell to select only the relevant instructions. This ensures that the correct set of genes is active in each cell type. MicroRNA are the molecules that help control the gene protein production and hence control gene regulation. The proteins that the cells produce play vital roles in almost all biological processes of living organisms. In human bodies, for example, the protein hemoglobin transports oxygen, insulin helps in the absorption of glucose from blood, etc. Thus, anything that impacts protein production can have consequences for human health. MicroRNA works by binding with another type of molecule called messenger RNA or mRNA, something that some of us may have learnt in school. In simple terms, microRNA does not make proteins but help control what the cells are doing including switching on and off critical genes that make proteins. Ambrose and Rufkin were interested in how different cell types develop. In the late 1980s, they were postdoctoral fellows in the laboratory of Robert Horwitz who was awarded the Nobel in 2002. The two were studying a tiny roundworm called C. elegans which despite its small size possesses many specialized cell types such as nerve and muscle cells also found in larger, more complex animals, making it a useful model for investigating how tissues develop and mature in multicellular organisms. They discovered a new principle of gene regulation mediated by a previously unknown type of RNA called microRNA. The results were published in 1993 in two articles in Journal Cell. The published results were initially met with a deafening silence from the scientific community. Although the results were interesting, the unusual mechanism of gene regulations was considered a peculiarity of C. elegans, likely irrelevant to humans and other more complex animals. That perception changed in 2000 when Rafkin's research group published the discovery of another microRNA encoded by a gene that was present throughout the animal kingdom. This sparked great interest and over the following years, hundreds of different microRNAs were identified. But what is the significance of this and why does it matter to us? The study of microRNA has opened up approaches to treating diseases like cancer because it's helped regulate how genes work in our cells. Dr. Claire Fletcher, a lecturer in molecular oncology at Imperial College London, says that there are two main areas where microRNA could be helpful. One, in developing drugs to treat diseases and in serving as possible indicators of diseases by tracking microRNA levels in the body. Now, there is ongoing work on the role of microRNA in infectious diseases like hepatitis and it might also be helpful in treating neurological diseases. Ambrose is currently a professor of natural sciences at the University of Massachusetts Medical School and Rufkin is a professor of genetics at the Harvard Medical School.